hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel once again i'm glad to have you into this tutorial you're welcome so today i shall be showing you how to make a straight skirt with slate open slate at the back okay make jolly how to stitch it and how to shape it properly and if you are finding it difficult to shape your skirt especially your straight skirt you are in the right channel okay just sit back with your popcorn and then eh, watch to the end okay so if you are new here last my last video i made a pattern paper on how to draft a, a busy skirt so this is the pattern okay so what i did here is i i used this pattern to cut out my skirt okay although this is a short pattern but the first thing i did is that i lay my fabric on fold by using my wool water of my body and i placed the pattern like so on it okay remember the last video i came down by half an inch to shape the the front piece of the skirt and uh, i've done that as you can see so i place it on my on my fabric and i trace it out as you can see now the pattern is shorter than the fabric here so i extended the the fabric to my desired length including the band my skirt length is 42 without the band i have a 40 because the my band will be two inches okay so what i did is here i have a 40 inches here including i had a one inch allowance okay making 41 so that one inch i'll be taking half an inch to hem it to hem the damp part with the lining and i'll be taking half an inch to hem the upper part with the band okay so i'll be left with a 40 inches and the next thing i did was uh, i notch all my part area as you can see on this pattern i have my hip line my knee line so i i notch it okay this reason be that this will guide you when you want to a shape your skirt okay all this part they are very comp they are very crucial okay don't ignore it you notch it okay now and i also notch my dart area okay so when you notch it will automatic uh, automatically reflect on the other side of the skirt okay now the next thing i did is that my lining i placed my lining so my lining is shorter than the length of my skates okay if you want to give your skirt full lining okay you make it shorter okay so what i did is that this is the lining as you can see at the down part of the skirt the lining is shorter is lesser or shorter than the skirt so i reduced the lining by two inches okay you might be wondering are they gonna be equal yeah as we go on you shall be seeing that okay now I will show you the back piece of it this is the back piece of it the only difference here is the zip line okay this is it i slitted it open the zipped and the slit will be coming at this part okay so as you can see i've added my gum stain which i did also at the front piece okay i gave it the full coverage and i use a lightweight medium lightweight eh, gum stain okay so the next thing we are going to do now is that i will take you on a ride it's my sewing machine while we line the skirt probably i will apply the dart okay stitch it. so the next thing we are going to do now is to place your lining you place your lining on the right side of the skirt okay i will be taking the back piece first okay this one panel of the back piece okay so you place it and when you are placing it make sure you are placing the the right side this is the zip side which is the straight part and this is the side seam that has the hip a uh, curvy part of it okay so what we are going to do now is you now take it to the damp part of the skirt remember the lining is on the right side of the uh, fabric so you take it make sure the boots align together properly so you take half an inch okay so when you are done now you can give it a notch okay give it a notch or you can just say uh, your top stitch 
so guys as you can see after stitching it this is how it's looking now remember it's equal now so here comes the question that are are they gonna be equal remember look at it now the fabric is longer than the lining so the next thing we are going to do now is that you just you take the lining like this you pull it up okay you you align it with the main fabric okay make sure all this uh, notch area are equal okay so when you have done that you take it you, you hold it like this okay you place it down you hold it down with your pin okay you hold it down with your pin make sure the notch area are equal okay hold it down with your pin like this then remember this is the zipper line so this is how the damp part is going to look now remember before it was equal so you take it to your ironing corner and give it a good press just give it a, a good press to flatten down this down part of the skirt okay so i will do that right away and show you i'm about to stitch it now this is the zip side so i'll be taking the stitch from the zip line okay so i'll turn it like this just one quarter okay When you are done this is how it's going to look you turn it from the same side you turn it inside out like this make sure this edge make sure you look for pencil to poke the edge out if that word is correct so this is what you are going to have then when you are done you are lining with the notches okay i believe you can see me properly you are lining with the notches then take it to your pressing corner again give it a good press so after this we will take the darts now i want to take the darts there are different methods to take the dart. You can as well fold the fabric into the, the piece into two equal parts. Okay. Make sure they are even. Okay. Like this. And take it. But me, I don't do that method. So remember, we did that on the pattern paper. So if you have not watched it, like I said, go and watch it. So from the notch area now, I will take my dart like this then i will give it half an inch okay that's it so i will repeat same on the other piece so guys i've uh, stitched the dots as you can see so i high on it i found the crease remember the before the lining it was the zipper allowance was a one and a half then i turn it with a one quarter i now left with a one one quarter okay so i formed a crease then i join it together up to the down part of the skirt i just run a stitch on it okay so guys we're about to shape it now because this is the major part of this uh, tutorial so the first thing i did was i placed both front piece and uh, I've, as you can see i've added the zip okay this is the zip i've, I've, I've added it then after that i place the front piece and the back piece together right side facing each other okay you align it together and how do you do that from the darts you align the darts of the back panel skirt and the front panel you align both together make sure they are equal and the same thing the zip should be in the center okay which i've done and the down part as well this is the down part of the skirt make sure the down part this middle 
the center of the damp part aligns with the center of the front piece of the skirt okay which i did as well so after that i went ahead and uh, pin up everything as you can see i pin it down just to secure everything okay because when your skirt is not aligned together there's no way you will achieve your shape very well okay so the next thing we are going to do now is to place our yeah, second then after that you now take your measurement you take your the vertical measurement remember we left half an inch at the top part of the skirt okay so when you had it to the to the hip line remember our hip line was a eight and a half okay eight and a half when you had it to eat that makes it nine so you place here will be our hip line okay so from the waist to the knee line will be 18 here you mark it so after marking this you now take the circumference okay so how do you do it because this is the one side part of the skirt okay so what you have to do now is that you take it from the from the waist okay let me move it a little bit remember i said something about the band that if you want to apply your band you should go down by one quarter or half an inch okay the same thing applicable to the skirt so here what we are going to have from the center of our zip now i'll be taking away one quarter from a, okay so from this side my measurement one quarter of my waist will be 11 and a quarter this is it okay this is it so on the on the hip line which is this i will take the one quarter of my hip is 13 okay as you can see from the center of the back that's where you start your measurement so this is it so from to the knee line to the knee line whatever you have on your hip line you go down by whatever measurement you want to take like i said the knee line is goes in than the hip line the knee line is deeper than the hip line so what i will do now is that i will take away one from the one quarter of the hip line i'll be left with 12 okay so i'll mark my 12 here then i'll connect all the dots together like this as you can see so then i will mark the 12 okay down to the down part of the skirt what okay. i did here i will repeat it mm -hmm. with this remember there's a line in between the front piece of the skirt i will follow the line and i will mark my 12 inches here i'll mark it 12 inches okay so this is it so on the hip line like i said we take our vertical line which is through the body okay so remember from the waist down to the hip line is nine i've had it half an inch we took from the starting line okay so that means it's nine i place it here then the nail line will be 18 before it was 17 and a half plus the half an inch we left up there making 18 so oh, from here you now take your from this tip line you now take your hip circumference which is a 13 like this and you take your waist circumference as well which is a 11 and a quarter 11 and a quarter then you connect it you connect so what i will do now is that i will take it to the sewing machine i will start from this damp part and take it up okay 
so guys this is the finished look and uh, my slit now what i did is that your slit it depends on your preference okay because you know some clients they will tell you i don't want it to open okay like this now i just stop at 25 okay 25 from the waist from the band okay including the band now i just stop at uh, 25 I took the stitch from hop after the zip, then I stitch it up to 25 inches. Then I open it up down, okay, as you can see here. Okay, so it depends on your preference and your client's eh, preference as well. So that is the end of this tutorial. I want to say thank you for watching to the end. And if you have not joined this family, it's free of charge. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? Share this video, like it, okay? Then I want to hear your view as well in the comment section, okay? Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.